you maybe don't have any prophetic gifting, but that doesn't stop you and it doesn't sideline you from beginning to step out into this tour. When I first began, I didn't have any prophetic gifting, but I used to pray, Holy Spirit, give me, a, give me this prophetic gift for the prophetic, like I teach in Jesus at the door. I uh, just had an amazing encounter. There was a, t a group of five or six teenage girls and I began to share the JAD tour with them and one of the girls, immediately I felt the Holy Spirit say there was a, she experienced a family crisis when she was younger. I feel like uh, somebody died, like a child, uh, when you were younger, like a sister or something. Is that what happened? How would I know that? I wouldn't know that, would I? How about come here, let me tell you why. But she backed off and was on the phone and I was about to pray for the other guys and I asked the girl if she would come into the group because I thought God wanted to speak to her. Okay, let me tell you why. As soon as you, as soon as you came there, I knew that. Let me tell you why, because I know Jesus and he knows you. And what happened is you've been carrying the scars of that since you were young, since you were young. Okay, and it's affected who you are. And you've, it stopped you feeling loved, it stopped you. It's affected your family, it's affected everything. And what God wants you to know is that he loves you so much. I went around and said, who would believe Jesus is here from that? And they all said, yeah, me, me, me. I said, who would accept Jesus right now? And they said, me, me, and they all accepted him. And it's just amazing to see because you, don't, you maybe don't have any prophetic gifting, but that doesn't stop you.